Time to strike up the band. Charlotte's newest music venue is officially open. I got a friend with a boat. The Amp, opening up in Valentine. This is a fantastic new amenity for Charlotte. It's really something for everyone. It's going to be really special. Located behind the Ballantine Hotel, just off Johnston Road and I-485, the Amp can hold up to 3,500 people and will host a variety of scheduled musical acts with plenty of tables, chairs, and lawn seating. But it's all family friendly, you know, it's all good reason to pack up the car, bring the kids out, spend the day. Among the scheduled acts at the Amp will be performances by the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center. People need a healthy variety of things. They're going to continue uh, to come to our uptown facilities for the big flagship events. But increasingly, people want these amenities close to home. They want, they want to you know, have their kids have ready access to it. So what they're doing here to create these very publicly accessible assets is a major win for Charlotte. It's all part of a massive redevelopment plan, transforming what used to be the golf club at Ballantyne into what you might call a downtown Ballantyne of sorts, or as they're officially calling it, Ballantyne Reimagined. It was just perfect to fill it in, have features like the amphitheater, the new stream park, the, the child play area, the little pavilions, but to really activate it with great food and beverage, retail, and things that frankly don't exist in South Charlotte, and to bring the type of quality that we're bringing in in terms of local, the best of class, local, regional, national, we're really excited about it. To be able to fill that void and really create a, a special place for people to come and congregate, enjoy live shows, support the local community through organizations and partnerships like Blumenthal Performing Arts, Art Pop, Charlotte is Creative. There's really going to be a wide array of programming and it's just, it's amazing to be a part of. The AMP is just one of many new features recently opening as part of the project, joining Tower View Apartments and the six acre Stream Park, which sits directly behind the Ballantine Hotel. And under construction now, the Bowl at Ballantine, featuring shops, restaurants, and anchor tenant Old Mecklenburg Brewery. It's all set to open in the first half of 2024. The brick is actually going up on OMB, so they'll have a two-level um, brewery with a one-acre beer garden. That's really exciting, so Valentine's first brewery. When you look at the job impact, here alone today and every day are 400 people working every day. This was estimated to create anywhere from five to 7,000 jobs. Sitting in the middle of it all, what will eventually become a 26-story residential tower, and tying it all together are six new roads. Such a collaborative effort with the city, the county. Had we not worked together, this simply would not have happened. Seeing the scope of the project, as well as the area as a whole, it's kind of hard to believe that just 30 years ago, Ballantyne didn't even exist. But once plans for the I-45 outer loop were announced in the early 90s, Johnny Harris and Smokey Bissell set out to create a new area, one that included a corporate park, housing, and restaurants. Ballantyne, as it would become known, would quickly grow to become one of the most successfully master-planned communities in the United States. In 2017, Bissell sold the development to Northwood Investors for over $1 billion. And in terms of capital investment, right now we're currently underway. We have over $350 million underway right now. And for context, we paid $1.2 billion for it back in March of 17. We love Charlotte as a firm. Shortly after the purchase, Northwood announced plans for Ballantine Reimagined. The goal? To transform the area into a more livable, walkable part of town. We started the process with um, an international master planning firm called Sasaki out of Boston. They did the Beijing Winter Olympics. And then we hired Land Design locally in Charlotte. They did the original rezonings for Mr. Mr. Bissell back in the 90s. We worked together to formulate the master plan. Getting the area rezoned proved to be challenging, with the city finally signing off on the project during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Literally thousands of hours of work went into it, and our Ballantine Reimagined team achieved one of the most complicated and largest rezonings in Charlotte history. As I said on the stage, thousands and thousands of hours of work to get it approved. Ultimately in June of 2020, City Council approved it over Zoom, which was pretty tough. City leaders, including Charlotte Mayor Via Lyles, were recently on hand as the AMP hosted its first ever musical act. Today, 
was a big deal for our team. Obviously, a lot of time, effort, resources have gone into making today happen, and that's just the beginning. Just the latest project as the Queen City continues to grow and evolve. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.